WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome all to another excellent update at 2 p.m. Uh, we're starting to see the markets uh, start to fade. As we talked uh, eh, a little bit Wednesday, a lot more Thursday and Friday uh, with uh, Tim Ord about the possibility of Wednesday being a selling climax. Normally, you want to think that within three days, you're going to have a continuation day uh, with the same thing, that is with a lot of volume and higher. If you don't get that, generally a fairly bearish sign in the market. Uh, I was bearish in the newsletter before the open. Uh, and, uh, you know, we still have fairly decent uh, weakness, maybe a few hundred points down in the S&P. Right now we're down uh, just shy of uh, 2% on the S&P. NASDAQ's a little over 2%. Dow's down one5 Russell's down 2.6%. Uh, Crude off uh, 270. We're going to talk about why on the show today. So that's in about five minutes. Uh, gold, kind of the same thing. We're seeing a variety of reasons. Uh, but the ISM um, numbers this morning uh, decidedly were more bearish for the Fed and them continuing on uh, for that. So literally everything's out there. Uh, we have uh, quite the move in bonds today. Uh, I suspect that there's a good chance that that is a blow off top, at least in the TLT. I think the people that were all thinking that we weren't going to five and a half or six percent are nuts. Uh, but uh, especially in bear markets, you're going to get huge swings where everybody thinks that they bought the lows in the market. I do not think so. Um, you know, we've got a few things coming up. Of course, probably the biggest thing is the Fed meeting uh, next Tuesday and Wednesday. We've got options expiration on the 16th. And, of course, today and really this morning was the last day of possible fund buying. And uh, we got a little bit. I kind of saw a few uh, bright spots uh, didn't last very long that looked like the last uh, hurrah for fund buying. So uh, is this as good as it gets? I think uh, far too many people are far too bullish for the end of the year. Uh, year. Anyway, uh, hang on for a few minutes and we'll be into the show. The reality is that navigating financial markets 